okay? There, it's a local anesthetic on your testicles, on your scrotum, and your scrotal sac, if we're being clear. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. After cream pieing a young lady just now, uh, 1,356, <laughs> I had some thoughts about, wow, I've been able to do this for a long time. Okay, I got a vasectomy in 2014, and it is now 2021, so I'm coming up on uh, seven years of cream pies. So in, in honor of that, I want to go over again some <laughs> recap regarding vasectomies and why I highly encourage it if you don't plan on having a kid right now or in the very near future. Okay, but before we continue, if you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell for notification, notifications of new videos every single day all through 2021. And if you would like to master the game and get very good, very fast, because this is one of the last uh, weeks or two that I'm gonna be taking the, the survey calls up front personally. Okay, we, we hired a bunch of guys, uh, and not that wasn't for the assistant thing, we hired some some other guys that are going to be that are very familiar with my product now and they're going to be going through uh walking through the program with you so if you've been interested uh talking to me personally before i stop taking those calls it's a free 30 minute call jump on a call with me with the link in the description and i'll tell you how i can get you very good at the game extremely quickly okay so what is a vasectomy not <laughs> basically everyone i've told i had a vasectomy almost everyone over the past almost seven years now they say, oh, so you can never have kids. Okay, that's false. First of all, they're reversible. Second of all, if you freeze your sperm, you can use the frozen sperm and you never need to do the reversal. Okay, the doctor that I went to in San Diego has a 97% reversal rate. Okay, but you don't need to take the chance in that 3% if you freeze sperm. Additionally, your frozen sperm is more vital when you are younger as well. Okay, which is going to play a factor to, you know, make the the child fucking healthier okay and you can play god so to speak and remove genetic disease and even choose the height in the you know voice tone and, and 3d facial structure actually of the of the child using different uh modern technologies however i also want to note that you also do not shoot blanks most people think like oh okay he has a vasectomy he can't come your semen is only five percent sperm Okay, and, and the, the sperm comes in through the vas deferens. The vas deferens is blocked during a vasectomy. So you still create sperm. It just gets reabsorbed in your body. Like I've had friends that are like, I'm not doing that. It'll make me less of a man. You're still creating sperm just the same. It's just not getting through the vas deferens tube to be connected with the semen. Okay, And as I said, sperm is 5%. Uh, semen is 5% sperm, Okay, meaning you still have 95% of the fluid that would be there anyways, so you still can come, okay? You just don't have any chance, if you go to a good doctor, of getting a girl pregnant, okay? I've been, as I said, I've been cream pieing girls for almost seven years now, and there's never even been one incident, okay? But you wanna go to a reputable guy, obviously. Uh, and also, you're not put under, meaning you don't have to be sedated, okay? There, it's a local anesthetic on your testicles, on your scrotum, and your scrotal sac, if we're being clear, it's a micro incision with local anesthetic and they block, my doctor, he blocked the passage of the sperm through the vas deferens in like seven different ways, including tying it up, including cauterizing it with heat, which was probably the most shocking aspect of the procedure when there was smoke billowing up from your balls. But <laughs> you don't really feel any pain. It's just like a small tugging. It's not a big deal. It takes like 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, regarding the sperm collection, um, I went and did like three different collections. I think you have to wait like 48 hours in between each one. And then it's like 400 bucks a year to store it. Okay, so I've been storing that for like seven years. But it's sperm from when I was 30. Okay, so if you, uh, if I actually want a kid in the future, which I doubt I will, um, I can go and use that frozen sperm. And I don't have, to, and it's also like the turkey baster method. They, they do, they put it near the egg and blah, blah, blah. It's not like the expensive, you don't have to do the expensive in vitro fertilization. Okay. Um, regarding chronic pain, that was one of my concerns. I said, is my, am I going to get residual pain down there or pain when I uh, come and stuff like this? He said, no, if you go to a doctor that knows what he's doing, and, and by doctor knows what he's doing, I'm referring to a urologist, okay, not a family doctor, a urologist who, pra who specializes in vasectomies, okay, which is what my doctor had in San Diego. Okay. And 
you want to um, you want to make sure that they have like a long track record of successful procedures. So my doctor had done like 9,000 of them or something like this. And so I was confident in his ability to, and I think he had like, you know, some under 1% failure rate or something like this. But you want to go to, to someone who's very reputable and, and knows what they're doing and this and that. Okay. It's, regarding the cost, it's fairly cheap. I, I think it's covered by insurance or if you're off insurance, um, it's like under a thousand dollars. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, you can still, you're still going to have the same libido. It doesn't impact the libido at all. Like I can't stress enough. All it's doing is blocking the vas deferens. It's like the tube that connects into your, into your semen. It's just blocking that. That's it. Okay. You still have the same libido. You still have the same erections. You still, uh, produce semen. There's just 5% less cause there's no sperm, which is negligible. Um, et cetera, et cetera. And, and you won't have any kind of pro uh, chronic pain unless they do the procedure wrong. He showed me on the chart. He's like, yeah, some doctors don't know what the fuck they're doing. So don't like go to your family practitioner and be like, Hey, have, you know, have a shot at, at what you're doing over here. Um, I, I should note like the risks of not doing something like this. Everyone's like, Oh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, remember the only cons are that it's like a thousand bucks or less. Okay. And if you have insurance, it's covered. Um, you have like, minimal pain for like two weeks, which is not a big deal. And that's pretty much it, really. I mean, I can't think of any other cons. You have 5% less semen, but your semen is building up anyways. It's, it's completely negligible. Like, but really, like, what's the cost of not doing it? Okay, the cost of not doing it, condoms can break, okay? Uh, condoms can fall off. If you go multiple rounds with a girl, you can have semen and sperm up in your fucking tubes in your in your fucking um you know where, where the sperm is coming out and then that can actually pass back through into the girl's vagina when you're having sex with her later before you've, you've even come okay and the girl can take her pill wrong on, on top of all these other things uh, or you can pull out too late if you're doing the pull out method basically all it takes is one fucking time and then you're fucked so i had a my best friend in college he had a, a one night stand with a girl that said she was on the pill he came inside. Five years later, he gets contacted. Hey, I had the kid. It's four, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry, I won't come after you. For child support, he gets court ordered for a DNA test. It matches, gets ordered to pay four years back child support. And then in New York, he had to pay up until the girl was 21, which hasn't even ended yet. So, and it's been docking, I think, like 25% of his pay. He's never met the child once. This is from a one night stand. And, I, and I've heard plenty of stories like this. I, this is my job for the past 10 years. And it's very easy to make a mistake. And then matters can complicate further if you're in a country where they don't even permit abortion, right? Like in Brazil, abortion is illegal. In Poland, where I was before Brazil, abortion is illegal. In a bunch of countries, it's illegal. Furthermore, <laughs> I should note that in 2014, I got th before I got the vasectomy, I had gotten three girls pregnant. The first two, uh, a Czechoslovakian girl and an Ethiopian girl, had abortions and then told me afterwards. The third girl was a Peruvian girl who was like my main rotation girl, super hot with fake tits. And she was a model and shit. And she got pregnant and she was like, hey, I'm pregnant. And I was like, okay, you're going to get an abortion, right? And she's like, no, I want to keep it. And I was like, well, I don't want to keep it. And she's like, well, I'm the woman and it's my choice. And that's when it dawned on me that that's actually, they're in charge. Your, your, your input, you know, while seemingly relevant, ultimately is irrelevant because it comes down to their decision. It's something inside of them, okay? So now you have to factor in, not only does it only take just one time, even if you're using condoms, but uh, if she's morally opposed to it or it's against religious beliefs or if the country has outlawed it, you're even more fucked. Okay? Now, even if she wants to abort it, she can't Okay, because God will punish her or uh, just the law will punish her or um, you know, her ethics will, will hurt too much. Right. So it's it's a dangerous game and after i got the third girl pregnant and long story short there is we argued about it for like a month and finally she got an abortion thank fucking god okay and it was very, extremely stressful i was having trouble sleeping and this and that as you can imagine and i thought the responsible move was to get a vasectomy especially when i'm doing large volume okay at the time of this 1356 girls that's not typical right and and i'm banging all these girls I'm, I'm running 12 to 15 girl rotations and i'm I'm making new clothes all the time. I repeat most of my clothes. If it was good enough the first time, it's good to keep it around. And I'm having sex all the time. Okay, I spent a, a large part of the last 10 years or so banging two to five girls a day. Okay, I was usually either, and, and for those of you that recently that have 
you know, as I'm showing endless proof with the infields and the testimonials and the pictures with girls and this and that, um, for the past like 10 years, I was putting all my blood, sweat, and tears into this game. I was either doing cold approach pickup, uh, typically at bars or clubs at night, but sometimes during the day, or texting to work leads because I was running volume, in that, or I was on dates. I had lots of dates scheduled each day, or I was banging rotation girls. So I was banging like two to five girls a day. Okay, so I was having tons of sex fucking all day long for, for the large part of the past 10 years, which some of you may think, oh, well, there's better uses, you know, better things to your, with your time. Uh, it was a great time living in all the fucking greatest cities around the world, having tons of sex and partying all the time and drinking all the time. It was, it was a ton of fun, okay? Um, but, and, and like I said, like, I was always doing game activities, cold approach, on dates, with rotation girls, uh, fucking closing new dates back at the house, or working leads, or using the online dating apps. Okay, that's, it's all very time consuming, especially to put up over 100 a year. So, you know, then these guys come at me that haven't shown one receipt ever, and never will, because they fucking suck, and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Um, they're going to say, oh, everything he's done is fake, right? I'm, I'm going to make a video soon about all the, the fucking hell that goes into filming infield for, for several months on end, okay, for five nights a week. But how many fucking pulls got missed, and still have over 100 on camera, but how many pulls got missed from the card being full, from the battery running out, okay, when they were, and they didn't do a battery switch in time, from the audio cable falling out, from not having the infrared light on in the nightclub, which can make the whole scene black, okay, with people obstructing the, a good camera angle, and on and on and on and on and on, okay. Alex from Playing With Fire just started filming infield, and he's like, dude, this shit's really fucking hard. A lot of our footage, like there was technical difficulties that ruined it. I'm like, yeah, we lost probably like 25 to 30% of our footage. We still have endless amounts of amazing shit. But it was very frustrating. The hottest girl I pulled during the project uh, was basically the, the fucking battery needed to be switched. And there was like a half hour delay and I only had this small window before her friends were going to cock block it. So I chose to just pull her anyways rather than blow it out and not even get to banger. It was like perfect 10, with like a perfect, amazing outfit. And it was, everything was perfect. And then they fucking didn't have to switch the battery out. And then people have the nerve and the fucking balls to come in. Oh, his hundreds of infields are all fake, right? There's negative reactions. There's objections. There's all real shit happening. It's not fucking cut up and edited when I show it in my products and my mentorship, in which I'm now showing for free, breaking down from start to finish polls on YouTube lives on the weekends, okay? And people are going to come in. Oh, it's all fake. It's all hookered. Get the fuck out. Like, it, no one even understands how hard it is to make all that and how much fucking data analysis I did for the past 10 to 15 years across every aspect of this game to make the best system in the world, okay? So, I don't remember what my point was, <laughs> but get a vasectomy. It, it's well worth it. You don't want to take a huge uh, cut in pay in, in your earnings for 21 years, and it's like cumulative, too. If you get multiple people pregnant, then you're paying multiple people. You're going to fuck up the kid's life. Uh, it's irresponsible, and, you know, it's it's going to be very stressful, too. Do you want to bring a child into this world accidentally? Uh, just, for, just on that principle alone, there's enough risk to have an accidental child somewhere, especially once you get better at the game and you're having more sex. So just get a vasectomy. As I said, there's practically no downsides. Okay, what's, the, what's the big downside? I can't think of any. Okay, so uh, I hope that was helpful. This was like a very... Uh, impromptu video there's like one girl just left another is on her way and then i need to spend time with the girls in the house who are being neglected because i'm with other girls outside the house and this and that okay so we need to rebalance the ecosystem there but if you want to get very good at the game very fast jump on a free 30 minute call with me uh, link is in the description as i said this will be the last week or two of me taking those calls and i have guys uh three different guys filling in for me okay I'm still going to be uh, running the program just as much as I was before. I'm just not going to be taking a lot of these intro calls. Demand is growing. We are scaling the operation, et cetera, et cetera. So there's only one of me, and I need to direct things uh, towards efforts like creating content. Okay, Back in my other studios so I can put out consistent release times and have a professional editor doing the videos. I don't have to rush these things last fucking second. Okay. Anyways, hope that was useful and helpful. Uh, please subscribe below if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate all my loyal fans and people that are sticking through me amidst this slander scandal. Okay, But I will emerge victorious, and I will set the record straight in due time. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.